Welcome in class. Today we're going to breathe and flow with a beautiful Tai Chi warm up. Then we're going to work on leg strength and butt shaping and move on to some beautiful stretches and a final meditation. So join me till the end. Like, share, and subscribe, and let's get moving together. Stepping to your wide Chi, bring the backs of the hands up through midline. And as you exhale, rolling through the wrists, transition your weight to the side. So breathing in through midline, breathing out as you roll the wrists down into the side. Inhale up and exhale down. It's a beautiful release for the wrists, a beautiful warmth for the body connecting everything together. Now this time, sweep the arms in front. Inhale, lift up. Exhale as you open to your right side and your chest turns. Again, crossing the arms in front. Exhale and open to the left. So it's a big breath in and a breath out. Just allowing the breath to flow through the body, gently warming up, getting connection with that movement and the breath. Let's go back to the initial move. Backs of the hands together overhead. And then as we roll through the wrists, we gently press. Exhale down and eyes lift to the bottom hand. Inhale up. Exhale down. One more time here. And releasing. Good. Crossing the arms in front, lift tall. Transition your weight. Turning the hands up this time. space we need to warm the body, get those muscles flowing and releasing in a gentle energy. Good. Back to the center. Backs of the hands lift up and as we shift, we roll through the hands. of the legs stretch out. Stepping back to your down dog position. Feet are hip distance apart behind you, heels pressing down. Feel the strength and length coming into the back of the body. Beautiful. Inhale as you lift the back leg up to three-legged dog. Take that back leg through, help it if you need to. Make sure it lands in between the two hands in front. Drop your back heel down. Breathe in as you lift your hands up. Open up through the chest. Reach over the bent knee, extend your body. Then come into your triangle pose, hand to the shin or ankle, stacking your shoulders as much as you can. Just breathe into that open chest. Allow the breath to flood in, the length to come in. Now bend your knee up again and extend your top arm overhead for the extended warrior. Really squeezing the back of the body to create that length through the front of the body. Nice job. Landing the hands underneath you. Open your shoulders and come to a sun warrior. Opening through the tops 
side of the body. Again, sinking deep into the leg space, creating work and challenge there. Now turn your body so you're facing the side wall. Breathe in and open your hands to the front. And then reaching the back arm to the back wall. Just create a beautiful twist through the body. And then taking your arm across to the back thigh, keeping the hips nice and square. Reach to the back arm a little bit more. stretch for the back of the body there. When you're ready, inhale as you lift your front leg to the three-legged dog. Gently pushing your hips back. Take that top leg through, help it if you need to, land it in between the two legs of the front. Drop your back heel down. Breathe in as you lift the arms overhead. Breathe out as you open the chest to the back. Dropping your shoulders into the leg space. Now really reach over the bent knee, create a length through the torso, and when you're ready, taking the hand to the shin or ankle, open up to your triangle pose. Stacking shoulders, top hip is pulling back, chest is open. Beautiful work, bend the knees a lot, come to your extended warrior, upper arm comes overhead. Keep breathing through the work. I know it's tough, but as you move, you breathe, bringing oxygen to those beautiful muscles. Nice job. Lift up and reach. Opening through the chest, coming to your sun warrior. Really reach through the top arm. Create space through the side body life back into that really long extension in the spine through the crown of the head, sinking deep into the legs. Nice work. Now taking both hands, readjust your back foot if you need to, and reach forward. body to stretch out. Now stepping your front foot outside your front hand, sinking into that space, into the hip space, and then send your back leg through into your squat position. Off the back if you can manage it. Keep breathing there. Nice job. Back to your squat position. Sink deep. Soft this. Open up the arms now. Open up the arms now. Let's work on the Next. Some beautiful stretches coming up. So come to 
your seated position. Sitting with your right leg either in front of the shin, on top of the calf, or right up onto your thigh. And make sure both hips are landed. Then breathe in. And as you breathe out, turn towards your right side, bringing your chest towards your thigh. And just allow the stretch to land in the body, surrendering to this beautiful pose. It should feel good. It should feel relaxed and strong. Beautiful. Let's switch it up. Other leg in front. So the left foot can be either on the ground, right up onto your calf, or right on your thigh. But both hips are down. And now let's breathe and come forward towards the left side, bringing the chest towards the thigh, allowing the release to happen. time with it, enjoy it, and breathe through it. Nice job. Now extending your legs out in front of you, your fingertips are pointing away from your body. We're going to come to a tabletop. You can have both legs straight or you can bend one knee. Eyes lift to the sky and we're contracting all the muscles underneath us to lift us up. Nice job. down towards the ground, squaring the hips as much as we can to do that. Bring your forehead to your forearms and just rest here for a few breaths, allowing the time and space for the body to adapt to the position. we do that. 
that. So we squeeze in, create the contraction through the inner thighs, and then we release down slowly and open a little bit more. Beautiful. Now taking the hands behind you, open up through the chest and shoulders gently. Push the knees down a little bit more. Lift your heart space to the sky. Should feel very good here. Beautiful. Coming into some twists, please extend your legs out in front of you. And I'd like you to take your left leg over top of your right leg. Create a beautiful length through the back of the body. Place your left hand behind you and twist gently to the left side. Just creating that release for the upper back. A little more flexibility there. And let's advance this stretch. Take hold of that top left foot. Extend the heel forward and then reach to the back wall. Create a little bit more stretch for the back, a little bit more advanced work for the twist. And release. Let's try it on the other side. Taking the right leg across to the left side and placing your right hand behind you, gently rotating, turning towards that back shoulder, giving your back a little bit of a stretch. that top foot, press the heel forward gently as you reach to the back. Create a little more openness for the twist. And take the legs off to the side on the mat. And we're going to roll onto our backs. Open arms, shoulders are down. Bend the knees over the hips and allow the knees <clears throat> to roll to the back wall. Keep the shoulders landed. Allow the work to open up through the chest. A little rotation through the spine, releasing our lower backs. And if you want to advance this, you can bring the back hand to the thigh and just bring your knee in closer to your chest back a little bit more of a stretch. Now let's roll to those bent knees, roll up, and create a stretch for our shoulders. Knees underneath your hips, hands underneath your shoulders, and take the back hand, thread it through to the front, lie the shoulder down, and gently press with your supporting hand towards the ground to get a little bit more rotation in the back. Beautiful twists to mobilize us and give us a little flexibility and release. Slowly lift up. Take your knees now towards the front. Lie down. Open up the chest. Shoulders are landed. Knees to the front, eyes to the back. We're giving ourselves a beautiful release for our torso, our back. Bringing the top knee in, grab hold of that top leg, gently allowing the lower back to relax. Breathing as you do so, allowing the breath to explore the body. Good job. Roll towards your bent knees, lift up. Then bring your hands underneath your shoulders and tucking your front hand underneath your back arm. Let's sink back, hips towards the heels, head comes towards the ground. Supporting hand gently pressing to the ground to give a little bit more rotation, a little bit more stretch for the shoulder. This is a great stretch to do at the end of your day to give you that advantage of release and recovery. Nice job. Let's come over onto our backs. And one final stretch here on our backs, the happy baby pose. 
bringing your knees towards your shoulders, hands towards the soles of the feet, gently press the heels towards the sky. Allow the tailbone to work its way down towards the ground and just breathe. Allow the breath to explore the body. Allow the body this time and space to release, centering our mind in the moment, allowing the back, the hips, and the shoulders to relax. Beautiful. Bring the soles of the feet together. Open up the knees, land the feet, extend your hands overhead. Create that beautiful extended butterfly position. It's a beautiful way to set up our day with a little bit of work and a little bit of stretch, allowing the body the time that it needs to ground it and be present in the moment. So getting into a comfortable position for your meditation, if you want to lie on your back with your legs extended out and your shoulders away from your ears, palms 